Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Yeah. I should be using my vault to do that. Well, I am happy I can shoot through the uh, bars here. Sometimes characters have trouble getting their skills through those bars. Not enough hatred. And it ends up just becoming this long shit show of like, well. I do not like it when they can get so close so quickly. Shit, I'm stuck. No. That is the type of shit I need to avoid with this character. Because these characters can go down quickly. That is not cool. You know what? There's enough guys around here. Yeah! The damage field on that is so fucking big, I love it. I love big things. Shut up. Oh wow, I passed by the entrance to that already. I'm trying to run my way in there. Instead I'm going on this... God damn, I went all the way around and there was no other way to get in there. That's, uh... Fucking annoying. Way to go, asshole game. You're an asshole. Not really, this game's fun. Although I can't wait to be out of this... Act. And into a newer... Different looking act. Act 3 is probably my favorite in terms of aesthetics. Uh, just because I feel like it doesn't wear out as its welcome. What? Who However, there are a few areas that are annoying because it's like, oh, this is cool. Wait, this is just a palette swap of another area early up. It's, it's the, it's like the Act 2 area, but colored blue. And I guess it's a really good reuse of assets, but I don't know. It's kind of like, okay, so I know exactly what to expect coming through here. I feel like they didn't change it up enough to make it worth going back into to check out. <sighs> oh, there's another guy I need. So they when they when they give this quest to you to free the dead spirits or whatever they give it to you and present it to you as an optional quest but I do believe you need to finish it in order to get through this area because it triggers the boss that opens the door and that's uh I don't know kind of annoying Hey level 34 Bitches ain't shit. And or beast mode. Oh, I've cleared out that whole area and there was only two guys over there. A three? Two? Three? I don't know. Alright, what are the new skills we have? Entangling fire. None of which is good for are good for this build, so continuing on. Also, where am I? Boop. Okay. Just wanted to check my passives again. I keep feeling like... I feel like I don't remember when the hell I got past level 30. That would not be wise. So I continue to feel like I don't have a third passive equipped when I should. My so just low. neurotic bullshit. Man, I really need to set those uh, caltrops up to freeze. Can I do that? Is that a thing I can do? Caltrops can damage enemies, immobilize enemies caught in the traps. That's more important than damaging the enemy. For this build. Because if I can use it to stop them in place, look, then they're just stuck there and I can just sit back and be like, doo -doo -doo can bring the noise and the funk at that point. I am free. 
You're gonna die. I wanna see how quickly that, uh... I always thought this area was a bit hokey. I love that I can root them in place with the Caltrops now, and then from there I can... Oh, did I get all of them? Maybe there were three on the other side. So you're just kind of hanging out of the wall there. Anyways, I like that I can root them in place. I really wish I had thought of that sooner, because uh, that seems integral to how this character plays. I need to start using my bolas more. I don't think I like using my bolas just because they don't they don't damage as quickly since they have that kind of start up on their explosives. So even though I know they're doing the same amount of damage or more damage than other skills since they have a large area of effect, I still feel like I'm not maximizing my damage output. And I know I'm wrong. I know for a frickin' fact I'm wrong. Yeah, my turrets fire homing rockets. You can eventually put up extra turrets, and you can put up turrets that shield you, and it kind of creates this cool little, like, jump between one area and the other defensive game that you play. That's pretty satisfying. Yeah, I don't know. The ball is awesome, but I feel like I should switch it out for something that does more immediate damage. I'm probably just being bitchy and I need to wait until I get better rounds. Oh shit. He is a jailer, so it makes My sense that he can jail me. There we go. I absolutely love the fact that I can root them. Yeah, he went down quick. That's good. It bodes well for the final boss of this area. Because if I can take down that guy, no problem. I'll gain probably another... Since I'm 34 and a half, I'll probably gain another two levels before I fight final boss. Wait, no. The final boss is through that goddamn door. No, wait, there's another area through that door, and then there's the final boss. Or I'm completely wrong, which I probably am, honestly. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, there we go. Still more? I like that they put these in because it's kind of a cool little backstory because you just ran into the queen which you may or may not have read about if you picked up a bunch of tomes and now you see what the hell happened to her. And there she is topless with her head stuck in a guillotine so he went fucking nuts and it's a good thing we killed him basically. I have never betrayed you. You're dead. You're fucking dead. Lies until the very end. And you're a bastard. A grim end to a noble woman. I am proud to have played my part in Leoric's fall. Yeah, he was kind of fucked up. Yeah, okay, we have a whole nother area. So we may get, maybe get one more level before we hit the boss. I feel like 35 is a pretty good spot for Act 1 boss. And if we do hit 35, we'll go back to town and uh, throw some new gear on. Just to see if we can't get a little more damage for our character before we head down. And actually, a little more armor would probably be just what the Dactor ordered. The moment I can see my health go down, I'm like, no! That's bad. I'm not doing a good job. 
You're all gonna die! Actually, once they get hit with my rapid fire, they go down pretty goddamn fast. It is a pretty satisfying skill set. You're all gonna die today! The fetid, pallid malaise has fallen over go. the manor we now call home. Young Albrecht seems to be enjoying himself in our new home, however. Perhaps I'm simply suffering from an imbalance of humors brought on by the recent change of climate. Hmm. Yeah. Cultists can suck a big, big wiener. No, 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 why can you vortex me? No, that's bad, you're bad, you're a bad man. I am too low on discipline. And being able to root them in place is good, but, uh... That vortex is not fun. Man, these guys take a ton of damage to take down. There we go, we're almost there. Fucking A. I got dicey there for a second. Hey, a better weapon will actually fire much faster. Yeah, that's what I like. Yo, I like that. Kind of annoying that the bowl is shit. Kind of annoying that the bowl is fire instantly. I need more hate when you're using it to attack an environment object, but it doesn't do that on an enemy. Because the moment I see it do that on shit, I was stuck there. The moment I see it do that on an environment object, I'm like, but why can't I do that on the people? I want it to kill the people. There we go. Fuck it, we're standing here. Until they knock me back, assholes. <laughs> Man, even though these areas are random, I feel like we're making a beeline for this damn door. Like, just with the fact that it's more or less been a straight path the whole way. Yeah. You stand in the doorway. I'll shoot over your shoulder and kill everybody. Wow, you didn't stand in the doorway, ass. Way to go. Man, that immobilization effect does not last as long as I would like it. Not at all. And there goes a the frequency in my ear. I heard somewhere, and it stuck with me, that you know whenever you get a ringing in your ear, just like a random ringing? Um, well, it has been told to me, and I now believe it 100% without actually researching it or anything like that, that when you hear that ringing in your ears, that random ringing, what that is, is that is a specific hair in your ear, you know, the type that vibrates that allows you to sense sound. Um, and when that falls out, basically what you're hearing is you're hearing a, a frequency that you can hear fall out of your ear. And when that hair falls out, it will never grow back. And that's the last time you will ever hear that specific frequency of sound. So whenever you hear that, you're basically experiencing yourself losing here. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. You can look it up. Because I'm too busy playing Diabro. Preparation 